I'll never forget the night we met. Talk about two people meeting and becoming like instant best friends for life. You introduced me to gratitude and meditation and I introduced you to Rose. <laughs> Lily? I don't see Lily. Oh, hey. <laughs> You've been shooting a lot of your YouTube stuff. You were saying it like just literally yeah. in that same room, right? In my house. I have this little tripod thing that I'm actually using for this. So I can like set it up on the tripod and like then click, like pose myself and like click it and like hide the clicker. And I did this shoot for Vogue. They totally had to like drop out the remote from my hand. I need to get one of those. You do. You don't have to bug Caleb every minute. Like we you take my picture again. My husband, you know, really is a private man and I respect that so much so I've just kept the gym from my filming space. Mom sanctuary. I'm like either in the closet or in my bathroom trying to do business calls while kids are running around. It's so sweet and funny. That's the funniest thing, right? So you've been practicing yoga while you're home? It's something actually Evan and I make sure that we do um, at least once a week together. Our first actual date was a yoga class. Like he'd never been to a yoga class before. How brave to go on a first date with a supermodel and try yoga for the first time. I like was giggling in the background because I was like, oh my God, what did I get this poor guy into? He's in like his basketball shorts, like trying to do all these poses. I love that. I didn't know that was your first date. That is so cute. He clearly enjoyed it because we still, practice together. So you've been doing your Wellness Wednesdays, which I've been loving. Yeah. It's so simple and so easy that we often overlook it, but it's so powerful to just take a few deep breaths and just, okay, like be in the moment, be present, just breathe through this. We met when we were like 19 years old or something, and you were so ahead of everybody. You really, really are the like the person that kind of introduced all that to me and I'm so grateful for that because it's such an important practice now in my life. Aww. During this time I realized I had the time to finally enroll in some college courses and I found um, that Yale offers this course called the Science of Wellbeing and it's like this happiness course and my daughter is like, mom, you're too old to go to college. And I'm like, no I'm not. <laughs> That's so cool. What have been some things that you guys have been doing as a family? Um, cooking together. Like, yeah, we've been baking um, some muffins. Actually, here's one of our little muffins. I might just have a little bite. Um, have a bite. You're a nursing mama. You got to get all those good snacks. I know, I need snacks all the time. It's crazy. We celebrated um, Hart's birthday in quarantine. I made him um, a cake in the shape of a car. Hart's first word was dad, and his second word was car. I was like, what about uh, mom? You're like, uh, where's mom? mom? <laughs> Caleb will be like, who am I? And he looks at me and goes, mama. And I'm like, where's dad? And he goes, mama. Didn't you say Caleb's been doing the cooking? He has been cooking every meal wow. for 10 weeks. Caleb really loves cooking. It like relaxes him and he's so good at it. That's so good. You actually have made me some of my favorite meals. I remember when I was pregnant with Dixie, I came and had a sleepover at your house. You made me like sweet potatoes and a roast chicken with coconut oil and it was so yummy. Aww. And I know you have said and I've said, it's like I'm actually loving just being home with my family. I wanted to cut my husband's hair and he wouldn't let me. I did have a lot of fun cutting Hart's hair, but it turned out to be a little bit of a bowl cut. Oh, but he's so cute though with his little cut. I cut Winston's bangs because they were like going into his eyes. I cut them like really too short. He had like little bangs to like here, but it looks so cute and I'm so proud every time I see his little haircut. Oh, I'm so bad with my hair, which is why it's just like, straight but sometimes you know for my wellness Wednesdays I have this where I like put it up in a little clip like this your hair like that is too cute it's like not even fair how cute you look the second I see you it's like nothing no time has passed I think we were on like a like a French swimwear casting and we met and we started talking I think I said hi to you first I think you did you know like I was lonely I was living by myself young model in Paris I didn't know anybody so I was like oh, Friend. And then we met up the next day. Then we were wearing like the same outfit, remember? Yes, Isabel Moran. We've had that many fun times. I had to do this, these photographs for Rag and Bone and- Oh yes. We were dancing around, probably dancing to Kings of Leon. I think you were dating Caleb at the time, no? Yeah, I was. I was like, get in front of the red curtain. 
Okay. Yes. Now it's jump. Yes. And then I flicked my head back. Oh my god. I was like, this is why she's a supermodel. I can't take a bad picture of her. She's so gorgeous. It was so fun. I love you so much. It's been so good to see your face. So good to see your face. I love you. So Big so hugs. Good. It's hugs. Mwah. Bye. Bye, cutie. Bye. Hey Vogue, it's Miranda Kerr. To see more videos like this, subscribe here.